Hi guys! Welcome to our channel! Before we get started make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel. Elon Musk views on crypto. So make sure to watch the full video. Billionaire Elon Musk is a huge fan of cutting-edge technology and is usually ahead of the curve when it comes to finance, but he's not a Bitcoin bull. The co-founder of Tesla revealed on Twitter that he owns only a tiny fraction of one Bitcoin token. I literally own zero cryptocurrency, apart from 25 BTC that a friend sent me many years ago, Musk confessed. Using today's Bitcoin price of about $10,000 a coin, that translates to $2,500. The serial entrepreneur, whose net worth tops $20 billion, made the revelation in response to a question about an online scam where random users pose as celebrities like Musk in a bid to steal people's cryptocurrencies. See also, IRS wants to tax your Bitcoin gains, orders Coinbase to turn over user data. Musk's indifference to Bitcoin probably wasn't a shock to his fans, since he recently revealed that a friend sent me part of a BTC a few years, but I don't know where it is. See also, Elon Musk, education, success story, and net worth. Is Elon Musk Satoshi Nakamoto? In November 2017, Musk denied rumors that he was Satoshi Nakamoto, the mysterious inventor of Bitcoin. The brohaha erupted after a former SpaceX intern, Sahil Gupta, in a blog post on Medium, wrote, Satoshi is probably Elon. Gupta reasoned, Elon is a self-taught polymath. He's repeatedly innovated across fields by reading books on a subject and applying the knowledge. It's how he built rockets, invented the Hyperloop, which he released to the world as a paper, and could have invented Bitcoin. The true identity of Nakamoto has never been confirmed, but there has been a steady stream of speculation about who he is ever since Bitcoin quietly launched in 2009. See also, Tesla CEO Elon Musk denies being Bitcoin creator. Meanwhile, Musk isn't the only billionaire who's skeptical of Bitcoin and the crypto phenomenon. Bitcoin cynics are put off by the virtual currency's erratic price movements, lack of regulation, and absence of a valuation guarantee because it's not backed by a central bank. Billionaire Charlie Munger, the second-in-command at Berkshire Hathaway, slammed Bitcoin as a noxious poison and called the media hype surrounding digital currencies totally asinine. Similarly, Munger's boss, mega-billionaire Warren Buffett, predicted that cryptocurrencies will almost certainly come to a bad ending. See more, Bitcoin is poison, says Berkshire billionaire Charlie Munger. And in its latest letter to clients, the Paul Singer-led Elliott Management, which oversees $34 billion in assets, excoriated cryptocurrencies as a bubble, a scam and a fraud. This is not just a bubble, Elliott wrote. It is not just a fraud. It is perhaps the outer limit, the ultimate expression, of the ability of humans to seize upon ether and hope to ride it to the stars. Investing in cryptocurrencies and other initial coin offerings, ICOs, is highly risky and speculative, and this article is not a recommendation by Investopedia or the writer to invest in cryptocurrencies or other ICO. Since each individual situation is unique, a qualified professional should always be consulted before making any financial decisions. Investors, weary of a sell-off in crypto markets the previous day, bid up prices for all three coins. Bitcoin price jumped by it as much as 3% to $32,805.55 minutes after a video of the conference was released. At 149 UTC today, Bitcoin was trading at $32,093, up 1.73% from its price a day earlier. The price of Ethereum also spiked by 6.3% from its morning valuation, and Dogecoin soared up by 10.9% to trade at $0.2101 in the same time frame as a result of Musk's comments. Musk's boost to cryptocurrency markets was a relief to investors. Bitcoin had dipped below $30,000 on Monday, raising investor fears that crypto markets were heading into a prolonged downturn. Bitcoin has a lot of potential. During yesterday's discussion, Musk said that Bitcoin has a lot of potential. 
but he discounted the possibility for the cryptocurrencies base layer to become a medium of transactions because it had scarcity baked into its design. The base layer of Bitcoin consists of its blockchain, which is slow at processing transactions and will only ever mine 21 million Bitcoin. The Layer 2 system can scale to become a monetary system for the world, said Musk. Layer 2 technologies, like the Lightning Network, aim to increase the transaction processing speed by batching them for later reconciliation. In January, Tesla announced a $1.5 billion investment in Bitcoin and allowed customers to purchase its cars using the cryptocurrency. But it stopped the practice in May due to environmental concerns related to Bitcoin mining. Musk said yesterday that the company was still researching Bitcoin's renewable energy usage. We want to do a bit more due diligence to confirm that the percentage of renewable energy usage is most likely at or above 50% and that there is a trend to increasing that number, he said. If so, Tesla will resume accepting Bitcoin Musk gas statements and utterances about Bitcoin and other coins have an outsized effect on the nascent ecosystem which already has to contend with significant volatility. Yesterday, Musk refuted the suggestion that he personally gained from influencing crypto market movements because he had not sold any of his personal holdings. I might pump, but I don't dump, he said. The entrepreneur's involvement with cryptocurrencies goes beyond just Bitcoin. At the conference, he said that Ethereum also had potential to scale and become a monetary system for the world. Based on his Twitter feed, Musk is also fascinated with Dogecoin, a joke cryptocurrency that was created to mock the crypto ecosystem. Its price has skyrocketed after Musk tweeted about it, and he is reported to be working with its development team. He used Occam's razor proposition, which states that the simplest outcome is the most likely outcome, to explain Dogecoin yesterday. The most ironic and entertaining outcome for the cryptocurrency ecosystem is that the crypto started as a joke ends up being the leading cryptocurrency. According to the payments company CEOs, Bitcoin could be used to achieve world peace. My hope is that it Bitcoin creates world peace or helps create world peace, he said. It may sound a bit ridiculous, but you fix that foundational level and everything above it improves. It is in the long term, but my hope is definitely peace. While peace may be a long-term goal for Dorsey, Profits should do nicely for now. Square's Cash App enables Bitcoin trading, and the company reported $3.5 billion revenue, out of a total of $5.06 billion, and $75 million profits from Bitcoin in May. Dorsey said that he was drawn to cryptocurrency because its network and community were deeply principled and weird as hell. The CEO continued, It just reminded me of the internet when I was a kid. Dorsey also touted the benefits of decentralization and referred to the current financial infrastructure as a crazy predatory system, in which intermediaries responsible for providing banking services and facilitating transfers charged exorbitant fees. Elon Musk has often made it a point to prove he is a cryptocurrency supporter, tweeting his support to virtual coins. So when he speaks about the crypto industry, the world pays attention to him. In his latest tweet, the SpaceX and Tesla CEO has offered caution and advice to all cryptocurrency investors wrapped in a single word. Bill Lee, the founding partner at West Coast Holdings, who is an investor in some of Musk's ventures, responded to a tweet that talked about reducing dependence on crypto trading platforms, saying an investor cannot claim assets in their digital wallet until they own the keys to the wallet. Musk doubled down on the suggestion with only one word exactly. The advice came after my Doge wallet, a crypto gateway, tweeted about its vision to break the dependence on CEX like Binance and Robinhood and let Shibes take custody of their own coins. The word Shibes here refers to the followers of the Shiba Inu mascot that has become synonymous with Dogecoin. To this, Bill said, not your keys, not your crypto. And Musk commented on the thread, exactly all digital wallets use a pair of digital signatures called keys for every transaction. One of these cryptographic keys is private, while the other is public. These keys help track ownership, receive or spend cryptocurrencies. A public key allows other crypto users to make payments to a particular wallet from which the key is derived, 
and a private key enables the wallet owner to spend the cryptocurrency. If a user loses their private key, they can no longer access the wallet to make transactions like spending, withdrawing, or transferring coins. It is, therefore, wise to keep the private key in a secure location and not lose it. Also, not owning the private keys could mean the wallet owner has entrusted a third party to keep their assets safe. In this sense, the expression, not your keys, not your crypto, was likely used by Bill and supported by Musk. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also remember to subscribe to our channel and enable notification so you will be the first to know when we upload a new video. Thank you for watching.